Well, hey, Capricorn, thank you guys so much for coming back to my channel. If you guys are new, hello, I am Yasmin. If you have not already, please like and subscribe. So Capricorn, we're going to go ahead and start with some oracles, see what's going on with you, and then we're going to use the tarot, and then we're going to clarify. So let's go ahead. We're going to see what's going on with Capricorn. Let's get it. This is for Capricorn. This is for Capricorn. Ooh. Okay. Oh, woo, so a lot came out for you guys. You guys got a lot to say today. Okay. <laughs> Here at the bottom of the deck, it says survive the long distance. Ooh, so some of you guys are dealing with someone long distance or you will be. It says whether it's physical or emotional distance, if you're determined to make it work, it's possible, but you must quickly work towards reducing the gap. Okay, so you guys got to put in some work. They have to put in some work, okay, if you want this to work. Now, let's see what this has. It says, you gave them your best. Now it's time to give it to yourself. It says, if the relationship is starting to feel like you're trying too hard to make it work, it may be a sign your relationship isn't meant to last long term. Mm. Emotional distance, trying too much, you know, putting too much in on your end and they're not giving nothing. No. Okay. They got to put into this. Anger to love. So some of you guys are just angry that the situation hasn't worked out. And, you know, don't let that energy eat you up, okay? Stay optimistic about your love life. Here it says, burn the, the blueprint. Don't try to plan your relationship, okay? Allow things to happen um, naturally. And this is even for those that, you know, went with new things or life in general. Um, this could be with new people or someone you're with, you know, see what's going to happen. And then if it's time for you to leave, just leave. If you feel like you're working too hard here, it says, speak your mind and don't, don't hold back. This is really good because some of you guys are not saying anything because you're afraid that you're going to push them away even further. Okay. Here it says, leave the past in the past. Don't assume that what happened in the past will happen again. What's past is a past rehashing old wounds will only poison the future let it go there has been some issues in this connection especially if you guys are in one okay there are some issues some of you guys have let your person go because this is what you've experienced but you're going to have to be able to let that go not everyone is going to be the same okay make sure when you do get in a connection you speak your mind you don't hold back say it in a nice way but you don't hold back but part of that anger to love don't get resent resentful okay but we're going to go ahead and see what this is about. Some of you guys are dealing with people that live uh, at a distance. But let's go ahead. Let's get into your reading. This is going to be for Capricorn. For Capricorn. Okay. Got the magician. This is talking about your confidence and the, your willingness to make things work. Kind of saw that earlier. The moon car. A lot of you guys are sad, though. You see the moon in both pictures? high emotions some things may have ended or maybe you're trying to keep from things from ending you're kind of panicking a little bit mm. yeah you guys are doing a lot of searching looking seeing if anybody else is around this could be your uh, your person could be feeling this way too i do feel some sadness though but very high emotional very high emotions a lot of thinking i see in your reading a lot of thinking and conflict. Yeah, I do see that there's been some issues here. Okay, I really do see that. And I feel like you're trying to be optimistic about your love life, trying to be optimistic, but you know, you don't know. I think your fear is getting to you more than anything, whether you have someone or not. So let's go ahead, let's keep going. This is for Capricorn. Okay, Capricorn, you guys are coming out, okay? Here, the King of Swords. I just talked about this. A lot of overthinking. Someone is trying to figure out how to make something work in general because it may feel like it's dying. Here with the Nine of Pentacles, a lot of you guys um, in general could be single. You might be sad. Um, that you, you might be feeling lonely because you guys are at a distance. Or you're afraid of just being alone, okay? You want something to work. Here with this justice card, I do see that there will be some type of, you know, compromise here. I see conversation here. Three of swords. Oof, yeah. 
It looks like in general there is some funny business. I'm just going to be honest. Here with the King of Wands. I feel like you're dealing with someone who's a Casanova. Okay. <laughs> um, that's how I feel. A lot of secrets. Um, but I feel like now it's going to be your 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 chance to, you know, um, build yourself up to water you. Let's go ahead. Let's get the magician. A lot of you guys have a lot of attraction to this person. Yeah, you were determined. I mean, you were doing all you can to make things work. But, you know, you're trying to figure out, you know, are you going to see the fruitage of your labor? I feel like you will. If you guys have not been talking, I feel like you will be talking. And I also feel like in general, you you understand what you've done in the past, in your past relationships. You wonder if the universe recognized your efforts, and they do. And I feel like you're going to invest in someone new. Okay, it could be, some, it could be someone new. It could be someone that you guys already know. Okay, let's get the moon card. Moon card here. Yeah, that was some secrets. Someone was playing a lot of games. And I feel like, you know, somebody moved on. And you guys are at a distance for a lot of you. could be at a distance. And like I said, you're wondering if they're dealing with other people. That's probably, maybe that's the reason why you guys are all over the internet searching, looking to see what's going on. <laughs> but I do feel like um, you guys are walking away from some nonsense, though, and moving on to something new. That's what I feel. Yeah, you're taking action here. You guys are worried about your money, which is really good. Okay, maybe some type of new job here, a dream job. Okay, some of you guys are talking to friends and family friends that you've been knowing for a very long time. Okay, I do feel like you guys may, you know, if you guys are dealing with money, if you dealt with money, you're going to be talking about getting your money back. And if you are waiting for it, you will get your money back. Let's get the devil. Here with the devil. Yeah, overthinking, can't let stuff go. This is codependency here, but things are going to look, are going to be better. This is talking about enlightenment for you, okay? Maybe seeing things for what it really is, finally, okay? Looking at things from a different perspective and being able to move on. That's what I'm saying. Let's get the King of Swords. Ooh. A lot of overthinking. Someone walked away from this connection here. At the bottom of the deck, we have the Nine of Swords. We have the Eight of Cups and the Two of Cups. So I feel like... You know, you guys are thinking about this connection. I feel like, um, you, you know, you may have really loved them, but I think that you may have to walk away because there was a lot of sneaky energy that was, you know, one-sided. Um, I just feel like it was just too one-sided. The person wasn't giving away they should have. Let's get the Nine of Pentacles. Yeah, now it's time to give to yourself to receive. Some of you guys are going to get a are going to be getting gifts from people, getting other offers, and getting out of this stuck energy. Okay, that's what you need to do. Get out of this stuck energy. Some of you guys are like, but what if? Nope, there ain't no but what if. So just pay attention to what they're doing. Okay? <laughs> Not what you imagine, what they're doing. Let's get the justice card. The universe is giving you justice for this toxicity. And also, like I said, freeing, freeing yourself, freeing yourself from this codependency. That's part of your justice. Exactly. How did I know? Eight of Swords. Freeing yourself from this codependent energy. Because a lot of you guys don't want to let it go because you may have known this person for a while or you just wanted a long-term committed relationship. You done fantasized some stuff up that wasn't even reality for some of you and you could be angry about that. Yeah, some of you guys could have been in a commitment though or you found out that they were either married or in a committed relationship. Yeah, because here with the Five of Wands, there were definitely other people around. So like I said, you guys were dealing with a ca Casanova, but this is the reason why it says anger to love. Don't get resentful, okay? Don't do that. You may have to just leave the past in the past and not think about it. Move on to the new, okay? Um, it says, what does it say? You gave yourself, you, ga you gave them your best. That's what you did here with the Seven of Pentacles. Now it's time to give to yourself. Give to yourself. Six, uh, six of Pentacles, okay? Um, 
And not only that, like I said, don't have any expectations uh, right now to, and when it comes out to a relationship. Just allow the universe to let people come into your life naturally. But this is what I have for you, Capricorn. Thank you guys so much for coming back to my channel. And again, if you guys are new, please like and subscribe. And if you guys are interested in a personal reading, please um, email me in the description below. All the information is in the description below. Okay. Um, I'll talk to you guys soon. Bye, guys.